Not far from our office, there's a hospital that specializes in cardiovascular diseases. They're known to be the heart center of Canada. And it's no coincidence that they happen to be in a city that is majority South Asian. South Asian, of course, being from the subcontinent of India and Pakistan, myself included. The community is quite large in and around this hospital, and this hospital happens to be inundated with cardiovascular disease. We get told as South Asians that we have bad hearts genetically. You inherit cardiovascular disease and expect to have it as you get older. We're also told the same thing about diabetes. Now, what is actually happening? You have to look at the culture of the region to understand what was done in environment, nutrition, and lifestyle as a load on the genetics that got you to that net result and what was actually happening. When we look at cardiovascular disease, we understand it's at the endothelial, that artery level, where we want to reduce inflammation. What are one of the important micronutrients that actually deal with inflammation? It's all the B complexes, primarily B12. Now, if you look at B12, our primary source in North America is beef. You eat red meat, you get your B12, and you should be doing well. For those of us that don't eat beef, you can take supplements. Now, what if you come from a South Asian background where your ancestors didn't eat beef, but they ate goat and they ate lamb? And by the way, this is not only true for South Asians, but it's also true for a lot of Mediterranean backgrounds, a lot of North African, a lot of Eastern Europeans. It wasn't beef, it was goat and lamb. That was a primary red meat. Now, genetically, the B12 that comes from beef is absorbed in your gut, in your stomach. But from goat and lamb, it is actually broken down in your mouth, pre-methylated, absorbed directly under your capillaries and your tongue into your bloodstream. Now, if you fast forward and all of a sudden we're living in Toronto, New York, Atlanta, etc., and you're no longer eating goat and lamb, but instead you're eating beef, that B12 that's going into your gut is not being absorbed. Your doctor, of course, will then tell you your B12 levels are low and tell you to take a supplement, which again, you swallow into your gut, do not absorb and pee out. So what are we dealing with here? We are dealing with inflammation of the arteries for which the root cause is lack of B12, for which the solution is a sublingual pill that you melt under your tongue. Something as simple as that can deal with the root cause of what's leading to the inflammation that is leading to that load that would lead to cardiovascular disease. So where we think that certain populations have genetically bad hearts, they just have dietary mismatches that are preventing their systems from being optimized and preventing that disease.